Hey guys, <clears throat> so just for a follow up on the whole Queen B thing, I'm gonna be, um, we do have the right person. She's trying to deny it. I went on her channel multiple times asking her to show her face because we have the um, mug shots of uh, Rebecca. She's trying to allege that this is a dead person, which it's not. I got her phone number from the public records. I called her phone from the public records. She answered the phone. Or, or, or at least uh, it went to voicemail, so I left her a voicemail message uh, from the number I got from public records. And she um, acknowledged it on one of her pages that Bullhorn Betty tried calling her, tried calling her. And, that she, and I even read off her address to her, and she tried to say on there that she had moved from that address and no longer lives there. So if she acknowledged the address and the address matches the public records in which I garnered the phone number and her address, and then she acknowledges it on her own live, she cannot lie about this. She can't keep telling people that this is, this is not her, this is some dead woman, because you don't get public records showing her address, her acknowledging my call, her stating that she no longer even lives there anymore, and now she's trying to say that, that that address that's on her public records that is also in the court records somehow must have two Rebecca Turners that live at that property. One that lived there and died from a drug overdose and another one that her that moved away. That seems doesn't seem to bode very well with facts, okay? How often do you think a Rebecca Turner is going to live in one property, two separate Rebecca Turners, uh, both having the same address, the same date of birth, and the same phone number? Um, I don't know too many Rebecca Turners um, that would have all of those identification factors on her. Again, went on her uh, panel, went on her channel, there's disgusting people in there, and all they could result to was um, being nasty to me and, and making fun of my hair. That's 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 their argument, and that I um, that I strangled my mother, and then they backed that up and said, no, I didn't strangle my mother. I beat my mother. I strangled my husband, and obviously those facts have been found untrue by the court, and somehow. That's their justification for what they are doing. She is adamant that it's not her. But again, let's go over what I have uh, provided to you. One part was the public records that had the address. Then we went over to the other uh, court record. And the public record that had her address and her phone number on happens just to happens to, and date of birth, by the way, just happens to, to um, mimic the court record and the information on the court record because it says her name, her date of birth, and her address. So I've got a document that's public record that has her name, date of birth, address, and phone number on it, and a court record that has her name, date of birth, and address on it, but somehow that's not her. Did you guys hear that? She is literally, oh, she's a fact channel. She only deals with facts, but she lies to her audience. So that's not facts. That, I showed my receipts. You know what receipts they could show? Show me making funny faces. That's what they could show on that channel is me making funny faces. That's what they could show. Yep, that's it. That's it. That's all they have on Bullhorn Betty. They have nothing, but they did acknowledge. They did acknowledge that they know that I have not been convicted of those crimes. They know that I've just been arrested a shit ton of times. Okay, so what? So what? You could get arrested literally for anything. I can go out right now and say Queen Bee assaulted me, hit me in my face, struck me, and she could she would go to jail on those charges because I filed an affidavit. It doesn't mean that that what is in that affidavit is true or correct. It just means that I, under oath, said that she did these things to me and I want her arrested and she's arrested. That's it. Then you got to go to court and prove your case. There's either evidence of the crime or there's not. If there's no evidence of the crime, then you the case is dismissed and dropped. If there's evidence of the crime, you go to court and you're found either guilty or not guilty. That's how the court system works. Apparently, the court system is allowed to work that way for everyone else except Bullhorn Betty. Um, you know, she is a felon, convicted three times. She is not dead. She is Rebecca Turner. She has the same address, phone number, date of birth, 
and um, uh, address, phone number, date of birth, and um, the same name as this court record. I, I find that a little bizarre. And not only that, but I did, um, when I was in Pennsylvania at Marissa's, we used the phone and called her from that public record, that very public record that has her name, date of birth, address, and phone number on, and it is the exact same information that is on that court record. Um, again, I'm happy to show you guys the, all of the receipts, and uh, she did acknowledge it when we were in Pennsylvania. She went on her live and said, Bullhorn Betty called me, right? Remember that? So don't think for a minute, not one minute, that we have the wrong person. That is Queen B. She is a felon and she sold drugs to kids. That is what she did. This is a true crime channel. We cover true crime. I provided a docket no different than in any other case that I cover. She is a criminal and I'm covering her. She has the convictions. That means they had enough evidence, took her to court, and she was convicted of those crimes. And she's trying to now backpedal and, and have sympathy. Oh, I can't believe they're doxing a dead woman. Well, it's funny that your public record with your address mimics the same public record, or the same information and address in the court's record. Explain that to me, Queen Bee. You can't because you know we got you. You're trying to lie to your audience and you're backpedaling. You are a felon. You are a disgusting woman and you sold drugs to kids. Shame on you. And you want to justify it because I you don't like the color of my hair? Great job.